Hi, so in this video, we will be covering the concept of left coordinate system and right handed coordinate system, left handed and right handed coordinate system. Uh, there is a 99% of probability that you will never come across such thing or such concept as such in your whole education life because we only use right handed coordinated system. But for example, you are giving some entrance exam or so, then it is necessary that you know the concept. So there is nothing much in detail. So let's discuss. So can you tell me what is wrong with this graph or what is wrong with this coordinate system? So like people say uh, origin should be drawn. Some people say there should be an arrow, proper arrow should be given. Some people say there should be 90 degree angle between the each of these. Yeah, those things are obvious. But can you tell me something which is conceptually wrong with this graph? Okay, so yes, there is conceptual error in this graph. See, we know that if I uh, take a cross product of i vector with j vector, I will get a k cap. Okay, so if this is my right hand, this is my x-axis i cap and this is my y-axis. Y-axis means y-axis is coming in this direction, right? X is in this, y is coming in this. So if I take a cross product, so basically z should be in the downward direction, right? Inside means z is in the downward direction. But what I can see is z is in the upward direction. In the similar way, if I draw this curve, which is which in India we draw basically like i, j, k. So basically if I take j cap cross k cap, so what it will give me? It will give me i cap. So this is my j cap, this is my k cap. Okay, so this is my j cap. This is my k cap. So if I go in this direction, then again i cap should be in this direction. That means x axis should be in this direction, but it is not. So basically those coordinate system which do not obey our right hand thumb rule are called as left handed coordinate system. Okay, so the coordinate system which I have drawn here is left handed coordinate system. Now if I take my left hand and do the similar operations, I will get the result. For example, if this is my i cap x axis, this is my j cap, j cap is in this direction. So if I cross them, so I will get k cap in outward direction. Outward is drawn as upward in physics in 2D graph. So yes, this is true. If I take a cross product of j with respect to k, so this is my j cap in the, uh, this is my j cap in this direction and this is my k cap in upward direction, right? So basically if I take j here from here, okay, y axis actually is in an outward direction, right? So your y axis is in outward direction and z is in upward direction. So basically it gives me this position. So my, uh, yes, i cap is in this direction. y is coming outward, right? This is outward z is in upward direction so if i cross this way i get this as my answer and which is right so yes there are coordinate systems which are left handed which will obey left hand thumb rule there are coordinate systems which will obey right handed thumb rule so what is this coordinate system it is it left handed or is it right handed so fortunately you every time you need not need to check through the hands and apply the rules uh, it is simple right handed systems follow anti-clockwise method okay they follow anti-clockwise method so consider x from x go to y so from x i am going to y so this is a clockwise system right from y i am going to z this is a clockwise this is clockwise so if this direction is clockwise then this system is left-handed system okay so it is easy for example let's take this again from x to y from y to z we are following this direction right so again it is clockwise direction clockwise essentially means left-handed system so basically if i uh, draw a graph in front of you for example say this graph this is my x this is my y this is my z so i am going in this direction which is anti-clockwise direction so yes this is my right-handed system if i take another example and if i am drawing in this way for example x and uh, y and z so yes this is also correct and this is also obeying my right hand thumb rule since i am going in the anti-clockwise sense so yes this is all about the concept there is nothing much to learn in entrance exams uh, examiners can haunt you by giving you the left-handed coordinate system and suddenly you will see in exam you cannot apply anything your result will come wrong your mcq answer will come wrong so basically uh, you just have to check 
if something is going wrong you have to check whether the axes are in the anti-clockwise sense or not so it is enough for this video see you in the next videos consider subscribing the channel as well